Oh, you're good. All right, well, let's see what we get here. Here we are, SEMA 2019. Not mono with the fist. So you guys are probably familiar with this car, I'd assume. This is Chris from BS for Builds. Manual swap, twin turbo LS Lamborghini Huracan. And it's amazing. Pretty fucking nuts. But uh, there's a lot of people over here, so we're gonna kinda move on. So I'm in the central hall. Excuse me. I don't know if anybody watching has any clue of what's in the central hall, but if you have anything you wanna see, it might be nearby me. Let me know, we'll go check it out. If you want to see Supros, we can go over to the Toyota booth and they have like nine. Well, I figured I'd try and give you guys a quick live stream to see how the quality is because there's a lot of people here right now. I don't want to go for too long, drain my battery out, but uh, figured why not, but might not be the greatest, most smooth flowing video. The Bonneville Salt Flats car? Yeah, I think it is. It even looks bad on my screen, so that's probably not a good sign. Actually, let's uh let's go to a less busy area. Maybe we'll get a better signal. We go through the Toyo Tread Pass, which is really sick. They have so many cool cars over here. Crispy Media's uh, Subaru is over here too. There you go, here's an NSX. Carbon fiber wrapped hood. No, that might be real actually. Yeah, I think that is real. I think the whole thing's carbon fiber. It just wasn't finished, so it looked different. All right, here you go. Here's for the people that want Honda stuff. Is that B18 C1? That's what it looks like. Wow. Limited slip diff trans. Oh, B16B. Duh. Damn, there's a pricey swap for you. It doesn't look amazing. Yeah, I figured as much, Charles. Sorry, all right? You should be grateful this is happening at all. Here you go. Have yourself 11. What are you? 3SGE. Oh, it is a beam. It's nice. It says so right on the top. I look right over that. Take a peek in here. Nice race car. 11 front end, wide body, neat. Here's what I think, okay, so the new Liberty Watt kits that don't use rivets look insanely good. Look at this. Oh my God. This is damn near unfair. Look at the wing. Come on. Oh, hello. You missed that before. Christ. There is a car up here that I hate with a fiery passion. So if the owner happens to see this, I apologize, but what is you doing? Not this slant nose, obviously. 
God, that's cool. That's cool too. This though. Uh uh. <coughs> Why? I wholeheartedly disapprove. Got a gated shifter. This I back, 100%. Big twin turbo four rotor, but yeah. Let's just go ahead and. Uh, I thought there was a three rotor when I looked at it yesterday. So I have a little more respect for it now. All right. This 7 Series is nutty. Damn, dude. That's insane. Here's a Jeep. Real cool. Um, <laughs> there you go. Nice. I saw him earlier. I was gonna see if he's going to Subi Invasion tomorrow. I have a buddy who's in town for it, so I'm gonna go check it out before I drive back home. This is honestly probably one of my favorite cars here right now. Find that Mercedes 190E. I've seen it a couple times already. It was in the Central Hall. You should have asked sooner. This is just unruly. Nice. See Magnitis tonight if you happen to be uh, in Vegas that's open to the public. I think next year I need a car in SEMA and I'm going to show you the booth that my car needs to be featured in. There it is. I see it. Hold on. What do you think of BS for Bill's car? It's sick. It's where I started. My wife. I saw it. someone posted it in the SEMA fails group and they're like, oh, this thing's half-assed. The kit doesn't fit very well. And the red room was really good, but it doesn't look as good in real life. I'm like, all right, well, you know, I still have the respect that he finished it the day he got here in the parking lot. Although, Chris, if you happen to see this, use jack stands for the love of God. Crawling halfway under the car with it just sitting on a jack. Here you go, guys. This is where I need to put a car into SEMA next year. The Ling Long Tire booth. They even have a billboard advertising that they have a booth at SEMA over by the Sahara Casino. Oh, that is too sick. Love me a good Ling Long. You gotta see this big ass Ling Long they got over here. Real talk though, my Ling Long tires that I put on the Integra, it was like 168 bucks for all four mounted and balanced. Live long, Ling Long. For point of reference, here's my eyes, where we're at, and I'm 6'3". So, oh, I saw Ed China yesterday. That was pretty crazy. 
go to the Gretty booth. I did yesterday. I was wearing a Gretty shirt, and the dude was pretty excited about it. Also, I was in the Central Hall, and you missed it, Charles. You missed your opportunity. Yesterday, I had my pedometer on my phone and it said I walked almost six miles. And I tend to believe that. Take detailed photos of the manifold on the new Supra. Boy, why, Charles? <laughs> why don't you just buy one, Charles, and then you can build one? They seem to cost nothing based on how many people just have them here. Do they have a super over there, Charles? I was kind of just passing by and I saw the Gretty booth and the guy was like, hey, nice shirt. And I was like, oh, thanks. I talked to him for a second and he asked if I have any Gretty products. I told him I have a Gretty blow-off valve that sits on a shelf because I don't run blow-off valves. And then I left. I saw Westlake has a booth here too. Westlake's the plug too. I had those tires on my Accord. But Ling Long, man. Ling Long lasting. Is it GT3? RS, yes. Vegas Street Eats. I no joke took the monorail out of here and went and got lunch at Chipotle yesterday because they have like pretzels and hot dogs for like nine bucks over there. It's astronomical. Oh, I know what you guys need to see. Giovanni's, McLaren, Senna. Yo, Scooby. Like, imagine having the audacity to hot boy a McLaren Senna. Not even the audacity, but the money for it. How ridiculous. My God. It's nuts, dude. All right, dude, you don't got to shit on me that hard. I get it. You have money and I don't. Not just a 488. I don't think so. McLaren P1. God, dude, who lets these people into SEMA? As I was just questioning whether or not that was actually a special edition 488. Charles, look at this Cressida. I've wanted a Cressida for a long time, and now I need to have one. Holy hell, this is amazing. God damn it, dude. And yes, Cressida. Uh, you can't see any reflection. It's left hand drive. Cressida.
Did you drive by and see the blasphemy? Yeah, I saw Finnegan yesterday too. Some more McLaren action. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for, but I definitely have to go back through the South Hall upstairs because I have a McLaren, a McLaren a BMW M1 Pro car. Is this Matt Ferris 911? Does anybody know? Yes, McLaren P1, of course. This is definitely what this is. Just like that last one was a McLaren P1 as well. P1 is poop. All right, moving on. There's an FD, Kyle Mohan's FD, what? Why is he driving RX-8 if he has this? Imagine. Here's that weird special edition STI that I can never remember the name of. It's a giant waste of money. Oh, it isn't even actually one. It just has the wing. I saw a real one in Seattle with Josh. Somebody fill me in on that. What's that called? Okay, so I let me reenact what I did with this booth yesterday because I was trying specifically to find as many supers as I could to make a point video. So I'm walking over here. I come around the corner, I see a GTR, I see a Huracan, and I was like, I already know what's coming next. And I was right. A dude in a blue shirt. But behind that, a Supra. You know what Supra I back more than any other Supra here is uh, European Auto Group's manual swapped one. The Gretti booth is so far though. You blew it, Charles. I asked. I said Central Hall. You had your opportunity. See? I am here, and the Gretty booth is here. Just can't be, can't be undone. I was here. See, Charles, this is where I was. You had the opportunity. That's where the Garrett booth is. You had the opportunity, but you blew it. Instead, let's go see Tavares' Lamborghini at the Rag Company booth. Las Vegas is basically just an airport. There's people drinking at 8 in the morning. Nobody knows how to walk. Belligerent old people. Waste everybody's time. There's always some scam. You can't call me on the phone, Charles. I'm I'm using my phone to stream this. Get my own entrance at this call. That's dope. Wow, people are really trying to pack in. Yeah, 
That's yours, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, a Supra. There you go. We compromised. I just don't have the live stream stamina that I used to. I used to do it for just like an hour at a time. I just can't anymore. They were giving out free flex glue yesterday. That's a thing. This Liberty Walk GTR is actually sick. I'm not a big R35 enthusiast. Yeah, no. If you ever come to see me and someone says, come get your badge scanned, blow them off entirely. You know, I talk really loud, so I don't get a copyright strike for this music that's playing in the background. La, 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 la. So what they're doing when they scan your badge, because you have a QR code, it gives them like your name and your phone number and email address and a bunch of stuff you don't want them to have. Yo, this van's called Sausage Fest. That's amazing. Yeah, let's go through that tiny gate and wait for people to stand here. This is ridiculous. Those people have brown bananas. Here you go. Look at this diesel Mark 1 truck. Oh, Freddie must be there. So there's a lot of people. a YouTube celebrity here though. <coughs> if you're the gas money on the old Chevrolet legs, maybe hop on the Shoelace Express the gray food. I got you, Charles. Damn it. Now I'm obligated. Yeah, to ours. on this thing, honestly. I guess I can also buy a pretzel. Yeah, barely. Oh, so this, you know the scheme where they put cash on your car like under the windshield wiper so they can distract you so after you start the car you get out to grab the money and they steal your car? There was a $20 bill under the wiper on the Fiesta this morning. So I started it, rolled the window down, and just reached out with my long ass arm and grabbed it and then drove off. My only other thought is that somebody maybe backed into it or door dinged it or something. I didn't see anything. Here's something you might like, Charles. Not this. Well, I mean, yeah, this is cool, but. This slingshot. Why?
Too bad it's a slingshot. There's a K-swapped one too. back in because you have to go through security oh, checks. Huh? I looked up and down these trucks for bad welds. There isn't any. So props to those guys. Pop by the Hoonigan burn yard real quick. I bought a beer here yesterday, it was seven bucks. That's a good uh, Vegas tip for you is if you're eating food on the strip, the only place that doesn't have like Vegas strip prices is Chipotle. It's all the same price. <laughs> People keep asking where Ross is, and don't worry, next weekend he's supposed to be making a return to the channel. Except I paid. And if you're 27 minutes into this live stream, even if you didn't watch it live, congrats, you get to know that Ross's uh, twin turbo LS car is getting done. It's got manifolds, it's got turbos attached, they're working on the intake stuff and the oil feed. Oh yeah, it's the last Unigan show, so they were throwing out a whole lot of free stuff. I wasn't paying attention because I was taking pictures, but they almost hit me in the face with a pair of Hoonigan socks. So I just creep in right here. That's my favorite part of SEMA is when people who are half my size just stop walking right the fuck in front of me. it out. Oh my god! It's not gonna last very long. Damn! Hey D, you in spot 
Motherfuckers smoking vaping cigarettes out here. There's a quote. Now there's something you don't see very often. A convertible fox body with a working top. It's a true miracle right there. You wish you could have gone? Charles, you literally own a fabrication company. You could just apply as a buyer and they would let you in. Or you can just be a big time YouTube superstar like me. Oh, hey, it's Brad. go in through the media entrance. I don't think they're going to security check me. <laughs> Yesterday I got boomered on. I was riding the monorail and there was these two retired dudes talking to each other about how they're retired. And one guy's like, oh yeah, I have a Datsun 280Z. And I was like, oh, I have one of those. He's like, really? Did you get it from a relative? No, old ass. I can buy cool cars even though I'm not six years old and about to die. Still going. Hi, Bob. I see you. I saw Dave Kindig earlier from Bitchin' Rides. <sighs> I should have just taken the stairs. It's too late now, though. So yeah, this is SEMA. Like, this is not even a fraction of what goes on here. Here you go, it just got really meta. I'm filming the live stream I'm shooting right now. We need to build the Datsun for SEMA. I need to sell the Datsun, Charles. I can't afford to keep that because it's worth... Somebody offered me $1,500 for it as it is. Granted, if we did a SEMA build for like five grand, it would be worth sixty thousand dollars because it's a 280Z. Okay, uh, we have to make a quick stop. Just a quick stop. Badges, front and center. No badge, you get sent home. Damn, that's ruthless. Alright, this is where I should have come if I wanted to see all the bad worlds. I bet you there's a good handful in here. But, there's one thing. Where are you? I'm pretty sure it's in this hall. Like right here somewhere. Maybe not? SEMA electrified? Oh my god. I just love when people don't walk. No, I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe it's Central Hall. No, it can't be. It has to be in here. Wait, let's go back this way. That's where they're doing the car. 
Do, 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 do. How are we gonna have 26 viewers and nine likes? That's just disrespectful, is what that is. Charles, you wanna do me a favor since I'm gonna go to the Grady booth? You wanna buy me a $55 SEMA hat? Just imagine being that conceited. Yeah, I went to SEMA. Central Hall. That would work out good because that's where Grady is, I think. Well, I know it is, but I don't know where in the Central Hall. Mm, damn it. Haha, Cherry Garcia. That's funny. Hold up, Scooter. Oh, I think I see it. Too bad about the not walking thing. BMW M1 Pro Car. Try and tell me you ain't nothing over this. All right, let's move on. I don't know what hall we're in anymore. Wait, yes I do. Oh, hey look, that's convenient. Hey look, Dean Kearney's Viper. Kearney? Kearney. Yeah, Sentinel booth. Oh, I should go find Lincoln, Charles. Here you go. Damn, Charles, look at that timing. It's like they knew.
ese no es el motor original que tiene. No. It took me a second to figure out what's happening there. Uh, the turbo flanges are cast in the head, aren't they? Interesting. So what you're saying, Charles, is that'll cost you like 18 bucks to make, and it'll sell for two grand. This is the one with the sequential transmission in it, isn't it? Yeah. 13, cool. All right, well, I expect a finder speed. How much is Grady selling them for? Two grand? Alright, well, I think 42 minutes is probably plenty. Um, if you're still watching, quickly tell me something you want to see and I'll get it in the video. But uh, I'm probably going to push off here in a second. I gotta go grab as many pictures as I can. You want me to ask how much they are? Alright, I'll text you, Charles. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.